Okay, folks, here we are again. Um, Cisco AnyConnect and Umbrella. So let's tie Umbrella into AnyConnect and deploy it. So first thing we do is log into um, Cisco Umbrella. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to Identities, uh, Remote Computers. And we're going to go and click that plus sign. And then there's a couple of options here. What we want is the JSON file. Um, that integrates the AnyConnect and Umbrella client. So we got that, that's great. Let's now add a profile. We'll give it uh, a name. And we will select the Umbrella portion here. So let's grab that. It's at the bottom. And let's upload. Um, the uh, JSON file that we just downloaded from the Umbrella portal. So there we go, and this is the, obviously tell it what org it's part of. Okay, that's good. Everything looks good. Let's apply it to a group policy. Hit OK. We'll do a quick apply. Uh, let's just go into that group policy and check. All right, so here we go. Let's quickly uh, check. And uh, what we're going to do is make sure that we assign the module. Um, and you're going to see that I've already done this. But um, but you can see there's that uh, profile. Now it's assigned. And what you'd have to do is uncheck Inherit. Inherit. And then um, you're going to select the Umbrella portion. There's other modules here. And maybe in uh, other sessions, I'll, I'll show you some more. Um, so that's it. Then you'd hit Apply, Save it out write the config uh, and then let's go to a client and this is a client that already has any connect but no additional module so what happens is they're gonna connect uh, it's gonna realize uh, based on the profile it connects with that it does not have the umbrella client um, and once it uh, realizes that it's gonna deploy and push it out to the endpoint um, and again it's all fairly transparent to the user all they've done is logged in So here we go, we're gonna log in. It's gonna do its thing, right? It's doing a couple checks. It's also looking for the AnyConnect version. If it needs to be updated, it would be. Uh, and you can see right away, Umbrella starts. So that's good, it's gonna download. This will take a few seconds. It's gonna download, uh, the module will be there. And then, and then what'll happen is, depending on the connectivity type, it's either gonna be on or off, right? So if you're not connected to corporate, it's gonna be, um, if you're not connected corporate, it's going to be on. If you're connected to corporate, whether that VPN and or on-prem that you're connected directly, uh, it'll be off and it'll use the corporate instance. So you can see here, it's a yellow at this point in time, right? Um, and uh, so we're going to just disconnect and we'll see very quickly that uh, that roaming client connects. We'll validate that it's actually working. And we can see here we would have blocked, so that's good. If that was a bad site, based on policy, again, we would have blocked uh, botnets. Okay, fantastic. Let's just validate. We know it's working, but we can also go to this page here, and it gives us a good, uh, you know, orange check mark, and, and all is good. Um, very quickly, let's just punt back over to the umbrella client or um, umbrella portal. Um, where we can see, and this takes some time, so I've, I've kind of snipped this in, but this is showing green at this point in time. Um, and that's it, right? Very simple and easy. Integration with AnyConnect and uh, Cisco Umbrella.